What are some of the shocking things that I've seen so far here in Turkey? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, my old subscribers, hope you guys are doing well. And to my new subscribers, hello, feel at home. Feel free to comment and feel at home like feel relaxed, okay? And if this is your very first time coming across one of my videos, hello, welcome. Kindly tap the subscribe button below. Make sure you join us and join the family. Um, so I've lived here in Turkey for about a year now, a year and some few months. And there's certain thing that I um I found shocking on my side. Um so in today's video, I have decided I'm gonna be sharing the things with you guys so that you get to know. Uh, what I found surprising here. So let's talk about the number one um, shocking thing. Let's talk about the smoking. The rate at which these people smoke is very, very abnormal. Like to me, I feel it's really abnormal. And on their side, it's very, very, they feel comfortable doing it. Sometimes I get worried about their health. Maybe I worry too much. But sometimes I get worried about their health. But also, on the other hand, I get worried about my health too. But what should I do? Nothing, of course. I'm a passive smoker, so I should get worried a little bit about my health. So the worst bit of it is they smoke from anywhere. Like, they don't have a place whereby they say, this is a place where by people who are smoking are supposed to be here and those who are not smoking are supposed to be here. Maybe in some big places, maybe some big hotels, they are there, but in public, they don't have that place. So they smoke from anywhere at any time. And it's not only men, it's both women and men. All of them do smoke. So at first, I found it really weird seeing a woman smoking in this country. But when I talked to my friend who was here before, she was like, that's normal. All women and children, some children, of course, do smoke. And also the men do smoke. So it's something really, really bad and something that is worrying at the same time. So I think that's their culture. I don't know. I was shocked, like really shocked. Another thing that I can talk about is the tea. I think tea is culture. It's Turkish culture, which is good. So these people take a lot of tea. 24-7, they are taking tea. Whether it's a hot day or a cold day, they are always taking tea. Something that is, I think, good. To some extent, it's good. But on my side, I take tea, yes, but not on a hot day. So on their side, it's okay to take tea at any time whether it's hot whether it's cold whether at night so it's something that i like i was shocked like to some extent people taking tea like every time every time tea so yeah basically tea is part of their culture and it's okay we have to embrace it and uh, uh, keep up with the society as it is so it's okay to take tea so let's talk about the food. I love Turkish food. I love Turkish food. There is this one. It's uh, um, in Luganda. We have what we call chapati in Luganda. Uh, in Uganda, in Luganda. In my country, Uganda, we have what we call chapati. So in Turkey, we also have um, that kind of thing, that chapati kind of thing, but it's called lamaju. I love it so much. It's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to put a picture right here, but it's so, so nice. When it comes to Turkish food, I love Turkish food, especially that uh, lamajo. Yeah, the Turkish chapati is called the lamajo. So it's so nice. I love the soup. They have different types of soup. They have um, meat soup. They have um, maybe chicken soup, vegetable soup. So they have all kinds of soup. When it comes to food, I love the food. But there is something that I am trying to get used to, but it's still hard. 
like these people eat bread like all the time. They eat bread in the morning. Um, yeah, during breakfast. They eat bread during lunch time when they are eating food, and they also eat um bread during dinner. So most families do that here in Turkey, something that I'm trying to get used to. But it's so hard for me. I can't eat bread that much. Bread is not my favorite. So it's still hard for me to cope up with bread all the time. But it's culture here and we have to embrace it and be proud of this country and be proud of their culture. Um, Another thing that I feel like it's um something that I feel like it's kind of weird to me is too much snacking. So, so far, the families that I've been to, snacking is um, the order of the day. So, like, someone can skip lunch, like real food, and goes in for snacking, um, snacking and tea throughout the day. Like, who does that? Who snacks without eating? So, something that I find weird. I wasn't used to this. Because most of them snack like all day snacking. So to me, I found it weird to start eating that without having real food. Um, I had to complain a bit and then they had to sort me out. Because that's me. I don't snack without eating something in my stomach because I'll feel hungry so quickly. So snacking is the order of the day here in Turkey. So most of the homes have snacks. So if you're a snacker, if you love snacks, come to Turkey. We're going to try out different types of snacks. So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the dress code. Most of you know that Turkey is a Muslim country, which is good. But something that I love about this country is they are, most of them, uh, they live their lives. They don't wear like hijabs they don't wear hijabs like the ladies they don't wear that anyone can wear anything they feel comfortable with or they can wear anything that they love so something that i really really love they make me feel comfortable so as a christian i feel really comfortable living with these people because they live a lifestyle which is like um, that of the christianity kind of so they make me feel really comfortable. It's um, They do wear hijab. Very few people, I think, wear hijabs. Maybe those ones in the Asian side, some of them wear hijabs. But majority of the ladies here don't wear hijabs. They actually wear whatever they feel comfortable with and whatever they like. So that's why I love the country, because of that. So the last one that I'm going to be talking about are the sweets. And when I'm talking about the sweets, I don't mean the candies. Turkish people have different types of sweets. I don't know how they make it, but these sweets, I think sugar is sweeter than the sweets. I mean, sugar is not, the sweets are sweeter than the sugar. Am I saying it right? Um, the sweets, the Turkish sweets are sweeter than the sugar itself yeah i think so <laughs> it's the right one yeah because these Turkish sweets are very 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 sweet very sweet i mean very sweet um so you cannot eat these sweets without taking water too too sweet i think sugar is not sweet so if you've ever been to turkey or if you've ever tried any of the turkey sweets you know what i'm talking about these sweets are not for me. No, I'd rather eat sugar, but not the sweets. They are very, very sweet. So not for me. So guys, I'm not going to go beyond here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, kindly tap the subscribe button below. Make sure you join us, join the family. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video.